Welcome to Toffee TV. It is a start in 11. Everton versus Liverpool at Goodison Park. The last ever Premier League derby at Goodison Park. Uh, I am in the hot seat still because Ped is still away on holiday. So this is going to be my team for the derby. No pressure then. Uh, in goal for Everton, Jordan Pickford, obviously. No, no change needed there. He's uh, been in good form. He's sort of grown into the season. I think he's got better and better. Clean sheet again the other night. I think he's got, I think he's second on the clean sheet list or something like that this season, second or third. Um, didn't have much to do against Wolves, but he had a couple of things to do early on and did them really well. So there's no question. I don't even know why I'm still talking about Pickford. He is undoubtedly Evans goalkeeper for this one. Uh, right back. Did have a little think about this, but let's play the opposition. These are very, very good. So my right back is going to be Ashley Young because he played really, really well the other night. Uh, I'll go into my reason and more on the left back. But Ashley Young, he's been, bar United, he has been Everton's, probably Everton's most consistent player over the last half a dozen games or so. Obviously scored a good free kick the other night against Wolves and he's done quite well. The experience still gets around the pitch. Uh, and for now, he is our right back, isn't he? So, Ashley Young at right back. Left back, Michalenko. Now, the other night when I'd done the team for Wolves, I had Ashley Young at left back, didn't I? And Patterson at right back. I'm giving Micho another go because I think against Mo Salah, he's done quite a good job the times he's played against them. I think Michalenko's strengths are having someone to mark, go man for man. And that's all he really has to worry about. I think that's when he, he comes into his own. I think when we're looking for him to do a bit more, he, he comes up short. Don't think he's been in great form this season. I really don't. I think the injury, which I don't know, he got injured in the derby in April, didn't he? Goodison had to go off. And then he got it. He come back for the Euros, but wasn't fit. And then he's had a couple of niggly injuries already this season. Don't really think he's got up to speed. And therefore, he's not playing as consistently as maybe he has um, in the past. But I just think when you give him a task to do, like Mark Mo Salah, it's, it's one of the most difficult jobs in football, probably, because Salah's probably the best right winger in football at the moment. But he can just concentrate on the defensive side. Uh, so that's why I've gone with Michalenko at left-back. Left centre-back, Jared Brantwaite. Uh, again, hasn't been... As good as what he was last season, I think it's fair to say. I think he, a little wobble at Old Trafford at the weekend, was better against Wolves, still not sort of like at the level that we've come to expect of Jared, but he's still comfortably one of our best centre-backs without Welsh. He's the best centre-back without a shadow, so Jared there. And then partner him, James Tarkovsky, I thought at Old Trafford, Tark, he looked way off it. Uh, I was a little bit concerned. But against Wolves the other night, I thought he'd come in and give a strong performance. He was up against, you know, Strand Larson, who's a big, big, powerful centre forward. And he co I think he likes that game when he's up against, you know, a, a big centre forward and, and he can get physical with it. I think he likes that that side of it and that suited him. But he did have a good game the other night against Wolves. Obviously, had a goal choked off as well from a set play. And he is so important off at set pieces. And if Everton had to win or get a positive result against Liverpool, set pieces will be huge for us. So James Tarkovsky alongside Jared Brantwaite. Uh, on the right-hand side is Illiman and Jai. The same as what John Dykes did with him the other night. Play him out on the right-hand side. I just think there was a decision to make on Jesper Lindstrom. I don't think he's done enough, to be honest. And I think this is a game where everybody has to focus, everybody has to do their job. And although there is a player in Lindstrom, and I've said it before, he's better in a central area, I do think and Jai will work his socks off for us on the right and then obviously can cause Liverpool issues going the other way. So he's going to play on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, Dwight McNeil. Again, I, I this is I understand that people who watch this channel will know that for me this is a massive contradiction because I actually don't think Dwight's best position is on that left hand side. However, when you're playing against a team as good as Liverpool and you understand that the defensive side of the game or shape rather is probably the most important thing 
then you have to sort of put players in where they're going to stick to the task. The option is there to switch McNeil and Njai, of course. They can both flip over and, and do a bit on the other side as well. Um, but I'm going to put Dwight there to also to add a double bit of protection with Mo Salah and, and Trent Alexander-Arnold, who I imagine will be back in Liverpool's team for this one. The two centre midfield players, Idrissa Garner Gay, been in excellent form again for us, still for me, our best midfield player. I think the amount of fires he puts out is incredible. The amount of work he does is incredible. And um, he is in that, that centre midfield, obviously. And he's going to be partnered by Oral Mangala again. He, he was my man at the match against Wolves. He's a player who has got better and better as the season's gone on. Uh, I think the other night against Wolves, he linked everything together for us, kept everything ticking over, used the ball really well. He is mobile as well. Uh, and I think him and Garner are probably our best midfield combo, certainly at the moment while Iribunum's out and while James Garner's out. Um, so them two, for me, are our best partnership, and they proved that the other night. They're going to have the work cut out a little bit because Liverpool have got strong, you know, got a strong midfield. But that's that's for them to come to the fore again. Uh, and then ahead of them, Abdelai Decore. And again, there is other options, of course there is. I don't. I think the game's come too soon for Breuer, and I don't think the manager would consider playing two strikers against Liverpool anyway. Even if Breuer could sit in at the ten, I, we've already discussed. Yes, Berlinson or Jack Harrison was the other option, uh, bringing them in. But I think just right now, neither are pulling up any trees. The core eight for me in this one, although we can be frustrating, this again is about energy. I think with Liverpool's midfield. I think the core can drop deep and make it a real three in midfield if we're getting overrun. There's also the physical aspect of it and there's the height aspect for set pieces. And I think it's Everton's chief way of scoring goals is set plays. We you know, we won four in the other night and three of them were from set pieces and we had another goal disallowed that come from a set piece. So quite clearly that's our, our main way. I think we've scored 13 goals in 35 games from open play in 2024 so quite clearly the majority of our goals come through set plays having big physical players in there to cause issues and pick second balls up that's why the core eight is in there and staying in and up front Dominic Aldert-Lewin uh, I think he had such a good game against it was Konati and Van Dijk wasn't it in April Konati's out of this one so I I guess for Liverpool, the call will be, is it Jarrell Quanta? Is it Joe Gomez alongside Van Dijk? Neither of them worry me in the slightest where Dom's concerned. So I think he can have a really good afternoon against these. Um, obviously, Van Dijk's an excellent player, but Dom has done well against them at Goodison before. Can we get him behind Van Dijk? I think he struggles a little bit with people who turn him. I think when the play's in front of him, he's fantastic. So Dom can, can cause them issues and and that's the team. I think Sean Dyche picked this the other night. I didn't fully, you know, I was looking at it. Thinking, no, I wouldn't have done that for Wolves, but it worked, didn't it? Uh, and I think they all done well enough to get another go. And I think this this is the team I've selected, but I actually think this is the team that the manager will pick as well for this one. What is a hugely difficult game, but it's a Merseyside derby. The last ever Premier League derby at Goodison Park. And it's about Everton, isn't it? It's about can we do the job? Can we get over the line? We'll see, we'll see. But, you know, this team, I'm thinking, hoping, will be the one that's good enough to get the three points against Liverpool or certainly give Liverpool a good game, a good go of it. So, fingers crossed. Let me know what you think in the comments section below about the team that I've selected for the derby. What are your score predictions? What would you have done different for this game? Uh, like, subscribe, do all that. See you later. Up the toffees. <laughs>